guys, keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this snow. I, I, I kind of like snow into tomorrow. They came in for the 330 and the 350 weeklies, right? That's $10 out of the money. Keep an eye on it tomorrow. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, really aggressive day today. I think that's the best way to say it. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this OGI that I've been talking about literally non-stop, this little one that it went. Not only did it went, go yesterday, it went today. And, you know, I, I took my last sales in the 370s. And I, I made the point, I was like, look, I, if this thing goes to five today, God bless. I'd rather sell it a little early than sell a little late. And this damn thing went to, literally went to five bucks today, which basically kind of painted the picture of what we want to talk about. What we've constantly been talking about. Uh, the, the money right now is being driven by kind of the same in common denominator. You have the option flow market kind of dictating where the stock's gonna go. So for example, this little crap of joy, right? This little septic tank of angel. Um, when this stock was two and change, they had $5 near term option flow, really aggressive. And in this type of environment, they ran the flow. On Zoom, right? We talked about Zoom a couple of days ago, came out of this range, had a really big day yes, a couple of days ago, rested yesterday, today resumed. Again, what's the common denominator? When, when it was coming out of the five, 400, 405 channel, there were buyers coming in near term, uh, 430 and 450 calls. Again, very, very aggressive. NVIDIA, when it finally came out of the channel here a couple of days ago, and today it was a nice little res day, kind of like, like Zoom did yesterday, it came out of this 560 level, and you started seeing 575, 580, 600 calls, and this drove the stock as well. So in this market, you're kind of seeing the same thing over and over again. The option market, uh, when you're starting to see very, very aggressive repeat, repeat on loop uh, order flow in the same stock and the same expiration, uh, there's more chances not because the sentiment is so very, very strong that the stock is going to get there. So, for example, today we saw FSLY. I'll give you a perfect couple of examples today. Uh, we saw F FSLY when the stock was like uh, 115, 114. Buyers came in literally for about 15 minutes uh, buying the weekly 120 calls. So when, this, when it started clearing out the range, da, 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 what did it do? It went exactly uh, to 120. Uh, you saw Neo this morning. And again, you know, all these things were uh, right on our, kind of our sweet spot. Uh, we talked about Neo last night on the video. Uh, the same thing. We talked about this range yesterday and you started seeing when the stock was, you know, 59.50s, uh, 59.70s, you started seeing them coming in for the 62 uh, weeklies, for the 63 weeklies, and the stock powered up right in that level. So in this type of environment, um, you know, the indexes, they're a guide. They're not really anything that's going to uh, jumpstart your decision making. It's more of a, the form of where sentiment can lie. I, I think the option market uh, is definitely driving price action. And you saw uh, also today, you, you have these really big moves uh, in beta very, very early. Like for example, on Facebook, you know, you saw this really, really aggressive candle and we didn't have a, uh, this, this is, Ironically, one of the one of the beta names we didn't have a pivot for the take. I just didn't expect this move out of Facebook. But even here, you started seeing uh, the 270s, the 275, the 280s going very, very aggressively, and this drove the stock as well. So we're seeing a lot of names uh, being driven uh, by the options market. Uh, there still is zero fear in this tape because if you look at the indexes today, it did not tell a story. Look at you know, look at the diamonds today. It did absolutely nothing. The Dow was uh, flat. Uh, the Qs today were flat. Uh, the SPY today were flat. So the indexes really didn't give you uh, a sense of what the market did today, how aggressive uh, the action really was. But if you were pay attention to the options market, if you were uh, paying attention to near term out of the money, deep, aggressive call buying, you kind of saw which way the pendulum is going to swing and today turned out to be a, a really aggressive session 
And the one thing that I do like kind of going into tomorrow, the same theme is happening. Again, we're not looking for the stocks uh, that made their big runs, right? I don't care about those runs. If you look at yesterday, uh, we talked about NEO, right? Came out of the range here, did very, very well. Uh, we talked about Zoom. We talked about a lot of names uh, that were looking to come out of very, very tight, aggressive channels. That continues to be the play. So if you, for example, if you look for tomorrow's session, and we'll go through the individual pivots in a second, there were some good things this morning. Uh, there were a couple of names um, that disappointed. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but what I like, what I really did see here, most names that did confirm price action had a very, very aggressive move up. And not only did it have a very, very aggressive move up, there was very little downtime for them to even uh, consolidate, which was very, very good. And when you have a market with very limited dips, especially in names uh, that are, are getting aggressive call options, it makes a very seamless trade. I know a lot of you guys did incredibly well today, but more important, it kind of sets us up for tomorrow's session. So if you look at tomorrow's session, the, again, the value might not be in the video, right? I think the video probably needs one more day of rest. Again, it had its big move. Now it just needs to rest a couple days for, before it starts to resume. But look at names like Lemonade, right? Look at names like Lemonade, and you'll see these, these charts are pretty much identical to what we saw in names like a Neo or names like Zoom before they got going. Like look at Lemonade, right? Really, really tight action here. Look at Dash, right? Same thing, you know, trying to get above this whole channel here. Look at Netflix, right? Even though Netflix woke up out of the mat, it keeps on getting rejected on this linear regression line. Matter of fact, if you, if you follow your eyeballs on this linear regression line, you can see you know, where the value is going to be in Netflix going forward. So you see it right here, got rejected, here got rejected, here got rejected, right? Here got rejected, here got rejected, here got rejected. So the moral of the story is if, if Netflix could finally take out this middle channel, right, this whole big range, you could start seeing really big action again for the next leg up. Look at Zoom. Even though Zoom had a really, really good two-day run, yesterday was a very uh, productive construction day, for a day of rest, now is just literally one day away. You know, we, we talked about the 430 area, got to the 430 area. Now it's literally one day away, and maybe that day is tomorrow, maybe it's not, but it's maybe one day away of taking out this whole channel here and start looking at 475, 480 levels. And again, if you follow the, the options market, you started seeing 450 uh, weeklies. Some guy even came out and did a 500 weeklies. I, you know, I think he's a little ambitious. Uh, but you could see the flow. You could see the aggressive nature of where institutional money is making bets, and that's very, uh, very important. Um, so let's talk about today's pivots. Again, I don't think you, you need to. I don't think you need to be very creative going into tomorrow's session. A, a lot of people, when they see the index is red, they're, they're automatic. Um, they're automatic responses. Well, let's start shorting stocks, guys. Remember. Stocks go up doesn't mean they're long. Stocks go down doesn't mean they're shorts. Stocks will go up. Stocks will go down. The question is, is it tradable? The only way you can get a green light for a stock to be tradable to the upside or the downside, it has to confirm some sort of channel in the daily chart. I don't care what interval you trade from from the intraday. If it doesn't take out a macro daily channel, then it's not a trade setup. It's just the stock going up and it's just the stock goes down. Every stock goes up and down. Every stock uh, you know, is, is moving around when the market's open. But the problem is not every stock is tradable. So when you see the market going lower, it, it shouldn't be your first reaction. So you sh shouldn't turn around and say, well, I'm going to short the market. We're, we're so far away from technical damage right now that it's not even funny. Can the market come in tomorrow? Of course, it can come in any single day. But as we saw today, even when the market, even in the morning, was kind of getting, you know, hit, I, was, I don't want to use the word hit, but a lot of names was starting to see opening range lows. There was so much speculation money uh, taking stocks higher that most people didn't realize it. And only to like, you know, 2.30, 3 o'clock Eastern time that I realized, hey, the market's flat today. You just didn't notice just because uh, the big aggression in the tape. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Some things did work very, very well. Some things I was a little bit disappointed in, but again, such as trading, such as live. So uh, NVIDIA yesterday had that really aggressive breakout, 551, 52, 56, uh, 560 was macro. Um, I, I would say 580, if it, if it needs to confirm yesterday's move, it could get to the 587, 60s. Not a big move. It, again, it was not really shocking. Uh, it didn't give a big move just because of the, the, the big aggressive move it made yesterday. But still, if you did take the trade, you had a 579 
uh, going to the 583 level. I still like it. I still like it higher. I just think the stock needs to rest for a few more days. Maybe by expiration weekly Friday, it'll start waking up. But again, it is what it is. Um, NIO was huge. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught NIO. Again, we covered it last night in the video. Uh, 5960 you know, needs to build. Here was NIO. Again, we talked about that buyer coming in or multiple buyers came, came in uh, for the uh, 60, 60, 62, 63 weekly calls. And look at the move here. Huge, huge move uh, going into the 63 channel on uh, NEO. BYND was a little bit disappointing today. Uh, 172 needs to build. Uh, it kind of died on a vine. Really dis disappointing here. It took out the 72 level, went to like 73 and change. And, and I get it. There was supply there. But this was a really, really high probability that it should have reclaim this 10 day supply and the fact that it didn't was a little bit disappointing uh so now it needs to really establish a new base above the 10 day moving average uh to you know to kind of spark a rally back in its shares but it looks like it got you know double you know double whammy to double top uh on the supply so it kind of dead money for now um amd okay i'm washing my hands at amd um it's not that i i, I it's not that i have bad success with amd it's just, it's just not a consistent, this, this stock is weird. It, it, it acts very, very weird. So we talked about AMD on last night's video, correct? And, you know, we, we cover this area, 92 got rejected here, 92 got rejected here. So it takes out 92, and I knew right away, that what's great about whole numbers and macro channels, if they get rejected, you don't want to be in the trade, okay? So it wasn't a monetary issue that I was wrong and I lost money. The point is, it took out 92, literally went up like a dime, like nothing, completely turned around, and I took a 20 cent loss. It wasn't the money. It's not the point of the money. It's just the point that a stock, when it comes out of supply, really should explode, especially you had some aggressive call buying coming in, the 93, the 95s, and this thing laid a complete egg. That's why, again, you know, some stocks are just not for everybody. And I think I've honestly, I've washed my hands with this thing. I, I lost like 20 cents on it today. Not the end of the world. It's not the point of the money. It's the point that it trades very, very bad. I, I, and in my opinion, at least, at least for me, it does. So I, I just, I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm definitely, definitely not a fan, but things got a lot better uh, very, very quickly. Uh, SRNE, I still like this thing, never got to the 1730. Uh, NAT, nice little move there. I, I knew it wasn't going to be a big trade just because there wasn't a lot of room. I talked about them potentially getting to 94. Here was NET, right? And we talked about this 94 level. Look at the high 9480s from the 92 break. Uh, SPCB, nice little trade there. Um, I bought it at two, sold it around 215. Uh, not a crazy trade, but again, it was very, very thick. Uh, it was just kind of a continuation from yesterday's move. High of the day was actually 217. Um, Apple, Apple was disappointing. Here, here was definitely one that was uh, absolutely disappointing. Uh, it could have absolutely exploded and it didn't. It went up like 35 cents, nothing. Did absolutely nothing and retrieved. I, I think it really needs to get above uh, 138 for this thing to go. Uh, again, like a three, four dollar pop on uh, NVIDIA, nothing crazy there. A uh, huge move on NEO. Um, I caught Netflix pretty well. Um, you know, nice move on Netflix. 560 needs to break. Uh, we talked about that 560 level a couple of days ago. Here is the whole 560 channel. Went right into supply to 555. So this 555, 556 going forward should be good. So nice little trade there. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Netflix, nice move there. Huge, yeah, like I was, you know, amazing. $90 call buyers came in. For the January, for, for the March, 90 calls on Neo, which was pretty, pretty insane. Uh, new highs coming in there. Yo, guys, keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this snow. I, I, I kind of like snow into tomorrow. They came in for the 3.30 and the 3.50 weeklies, right? That's $10 out of the money. Keep an eye on it tomorrow uh, through today's range. Should be, you know, should be pretty good. Very, very aggressive repeat buyers uh, came in on the name. Uh, FSOI, we talked about that. Uh, 117 needs to build nonstop weekly 120 buyers. I said it could, it could get to 120. Here was FSOI. Here was the 117. And it went right to 1974. Let's call it 120. Uh, so nice move there on FSOI. Here comes, you know, here comes the 330s, any close there. But this was definitely the big move in the afternoon. Uh, again, huge move a couple days ago on Zoom from the 400, 405 area. 
And uh, here it is, 422, next big area to reclaim for a 430's push. They were coming for today, guys, the 430 and the 450 weekly call buyers. Really, really big. And here was Zoom. Here is Zoom. Congratulations, guys, who continue uh, to kind of pound this thing, right? So it took out the 22 and it's traded all the way up into the 430, almost 435 area. I still like it going higher. Again, can it rest tomorrow? Very possible. But if it does reclaim this level, this thing could really, really take off again. So Zoom was really big uh, as well. And I ironically, the, the, the weirdest thing of all, that I, OGI, you know, again, I'm probably not going to see another trade like this uh, ever again, just because, well, I can't say it ever again, but the point is I just don't really trade these things, but what's the common denominator, right? When we bought the stock down here in the 224 area, we were watching repeat $5 call buyers, short-term expiration, and once volume kick in and the channel got loose, that was the results. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. Tomorrow looks like some pretty good value. And with God's help, I'll see you all together. Take care, guys.